Okay, let's talk about the infamous pin to poke method or how to get root access basically with a tinfoil. But I mean, we are using a wire, so no spec points on that. Here we have a router and we got read access to the UART console via the following three lines. An interaction, however, requires a password. So we only have read access and this is something we want to break. How? First, we need to identify the chip containing the firmware. This chip here contains the firmware of this device. And if we go into the internet and get the datasheet, we turn it around to hold it correct, we can see these are the pins responsible for the data transfer of the firmware to the main CPU. In our attack, we will interrupt the read operation to corrupt the firmware that opens up a recovery shell to bypass the password protection of the bootloader. We start the device and we can see if we press spacebar three times, we can enter a password. But we do not have the password, so therefore the password is incorrect and the device boots up in the normal boot configuration. Let's repeat this step, but this time we are interrupting the read operation during the flash check. So we are booting up this device and now we are grounding this pin and we can see we are now booting in a recovery kernel which is helpful but not what we are looking for. Therefore let's repeat this step. We are booting it up, one more time grounding it, flash checking, waiting and it failed. Awesome! Bootloader! Here we've got it! On our laptop right there. So now we can enter the help menu. And then we can see, oh, there's an option to set the password, which directly prints out the password even better. So we simply copy it. And now we are restarting this device to try this password out. So once again, rebooting, three times space, and we are in. So we have now perma access to the bootloader. We switch to the administrator mode and we dump out the whole firmware. Bootloader bypass successful.